Hello friends and welcome to another video. Um, you've probably seen my Blu-ray collection on my shelves and everything, but you don't notice my DVDs. That is because back in the day, I collected DVDs and I bought movies. I put them in this DVD player and I threw away the cases. Yes, I know, I throw away the cases. So this is the DVP CX995V, I believe. This is a Sony uh, Dix, Disc Explorer 400. So this one fits. Let's see if I can turn on the light. There we go. It's a little old and scratched up. This does have Super uh, Super Audio CD. So yeah, this is the DVP CX 995V HDMI Dolby Digital DTS. This actually fits. 400 DVDs so let's turn it on and just look let's look at this puppy it's pretty long uh, I'll say like more than 50 centimeters deep uh, so yeah let's look hey people I'm here so that's the, the opening menu I don't know what movie I have in there so Let's go to the folder menu. So you could connect a old school keyboard. I believe the connection is called PS2. And you could type the, the title of each movie uh, with the controller. That's the, the beautiful controller here. Uh, you could just select what movie you want. It, there's a lot of features on this. Uh, DVD player. You can skip by, I believe, by tens. Yeah. So some of them, it pulls up the the title. Some of them does not. But yeah, so here's about all my movies. Yo, Joe Dirt. And as you can see, I still have some space in there. About 20 this so this is how you load it um you could just press open close and i'll start the process and there they are so what we can also do is rotate it and you can see the number of the disc where it's going to go at. So we're just rotating it. And you can see the space in there. The label, you have to keep it facing right. And then all you have to do is close it. It's on a specific disc. And I'll just load it. So I missed out because there was an exact same type of uh, DVD or player per se. It's called Mega, like a Mega Changer. A Karate Kid. And it was for Blu-rays, but I didn't buy it. I was in collecting Blu-rays, and now they're super expensive. So I'll stop there so I don't get hit with the copyright. And yeah, that is my Mega DVD changer. If you have any questions about this, feel free to ask me. There's a ton of features on this, tons and tons and tons, and it has HDMI output, and that's how I'm connected right now. It's the HDMI out to this TV. It looks pretty good for it being a, a DVD uh, player. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. You have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.